Welcome to another free tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to generate random numbers in Microsoft Access using the RND function. Now, I get asked all the time, how do I generate random numbers in Access? I've had clients that want to use random numbers for simple things like a game application. I had another client that wants to perform random employee reviews. So out of his 500 employees, once a month he wants to generate a list of, let's say, 20 of them randomly. And I've had customers that wanted to generate semi-random customer codes. So instead of using the auto number in the system, they also had a semi-random number that represented each client. Well, to do that in Access, we use the RND function to generate random numbers. Now here's how it works. I'm going to show you in a query how to use the RND function to generate a random number between 1 and X, whatever X is. So for example, if you're rolling normal dice, your number would be 1 to 6. So let's create a blank query, so query design. Don't add any of your tables to it, we'll just leave it blank. And let's come right down here, and we're going to create a value, let's call it X, and I want to generate a random number. So we're going to use the random function, RND, open and close parentheses. Just give me a random number. Let's see what we get. I'm going to save this as, well, query 5 is the next query. That's OK. Just hit OK. And now I'm going to close the query and open it up. i got a bunch of other queries in this database. You can ignore those. Open up query 5, and there's my random number, 0 0.2761 and so on. Now, what does this represent? Well, Access's RND function gives us a random number between 0 and 1. Technically, it's greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1. So it'll never quite be 1. It could be 0 0.99999 all the way down to 0. So if we want to make this a number between, let's say, 1 and 6, there's a little bit of extra math we have to perform. Let's go back to design view. The first thing we have to do is multiply that by however many numbers we want. So if we want six numbers, for example, we're going to multiply that by six. All right, let's run it now and see what we get. That looks a little better. Now we got 3.85. All right, well, I don't want the decimal part, so let's chop that off. How do we chop off a decimal place? Well, we just come in here and say, give me the int of that. Int says, convert that to an integer. Chop off the decimal place. Doesn't matter if it's 0.9 or 0.1, it just chops the whole thing off. Now when I run it, I get the number 5. Let's close it and run it again. And there's a 2. Run it again, and I get a 0. And of course, now I realize that my values go from 0 to 5, right? Because what is the original random number? It's 0 to not quite 1. So when I multiply by 6, I'm going to get 0 to not quite 6. So now we just have to add 1 to this result, and then we'll get 1 to 6. So back to design view again. So just add a plus 1 to the end of that equation. It's the int of a random number times 6 plus 1. All right, save it again. Run it now. There's a 3. Let's run it a couple of times, make sure we don't get any zeros, and we do see a 6 go by. All right, there's a 6. And after running it a few more times off camera, it is correct. It's not giving me any zeros. I'm getting numbers from 1 through 6. So that's how you generate random numbers between 1 and x, whatever you want x to be, in Microsoft Access. Now, knowing this, you can generate all kinds of random lists. You can put random numbers on forms. You can assign random numbers to customers in a query. For example, here's a list of three of my customers, and I've assigned them random numbers. I can then use this to sort the list based on that random number and then give me the top, let's say, if I have 100 customers in here, give me the top five of that random number that has the effect of giving me a list of random customers. Now, I cover this technique. It's a little more advanced. I cover this in my full class that I'll talk about in just a minute. You can also use random numbers on forms. Here's a simple form where I've got three random numbers from one to six representing three dice. Roll those, add up the values down here, so I should get a number from three to 18. And of course, I can change the die type up here. Let's say I want a 20-sided die. And then I roll it again. Now I'm getting numbers from 1 to 20. This is all stuff I teach in my full class on random numbers. Now, what is this class, you're asking? Well, I cover a lot more about random numbers in my Microsoft Access Expert Level 26 class. 
Access Expert Level 26 covers all of the different math functions available in Microsoft Access, including the random function, but I also cover absolute values, signs, rounding, that int function, the trigonometric functions, how to calculate pi, how to convert degrees to radians, everything you ever want to know about math functions and access is covered in this lesson. I also cover the type conversion functions. This is part two of my access guide to functions class. But again, I cover a lot on random numbers, generating lists of random customers, assigning random customer IDs, and all that kind of stuff. So make sure to head over to accesslearningzone.com and look for Access Expert Level 26. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and comment below. I post new videos all the time, so be sure to subscribe to my channel for updates. I've got tons of free Microsoft Access tips and tricks videos online, plus lessons on other subjects like Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and so on. And don't forget, visit my website at accesslearningzone.com. You can watch my entire three-hour beginner level one class absolutely free. And if you like that, you can get level two, which is another 90 minutes, for just $1. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something today.